Hey y'all, coming to you from International Headquarters, Scotty DTV, but I was out of Steve Holcomb Pro Auto Custom Interiors just as they were finishing up this 1971 Impala convertible. Something a little bit different, but uh, I think y'all can appreciate it. Let me get the camera turned around, we'll take a quick look at it. Steve, what in the world do you got going on here? <laughs> I know it's a little out of place at this shop, and <laughs> well, it's a little old school for a pro auto. This it is where y'all started at. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, we used to do some low rider type cars and uh, um, extreme auto restoration. Asked us if we could actually put the interior back in that car. Just wanted they wanted to take it to a show. So somebody had already made the seat covers and the door panels and stuff like that, and we're just helping them out, putting it all back together. Made a few little custom things and, and changed some stuff to make it all fit. And uh, now uh, they're going to come back and pick it up and finish it up and take it back to get it ready for a show. I think we have to be clear, though. If I, I, I could be mistaken, but I believe this is a donk. It is a donk. A <clears throat> and I actually got a, a text from him said, this is actually donk of the year. Donk of the year. Or donk yeah, in, a, in all the world through social media. Right. Cleanest. So, the cleanest. Cleanest donk of the year. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. Cleanest donk in the world. In the world. Yeah. <laughs> So, I mean, it's pretty cool, and it no. is a super clean car. I mean, everything, every nut and bolt, every body panel underneath the carpet, everything is painted, cleared. I mean, it's, I had to, I had to, it was, it's, it's so nice. I had to actually, to ground the seat, I had to actually <clears throat> uh, clean out the threads so they get the paint out of the threads, and when we bolted the seat in, made a new wire and everything, just so that it would ground good. That's how much clear and paint is on the whole car, inside and out. All right. <clears throat> yeah, no, obviously when I first saw it out here, it drew my attention. But then I was even commenting to you when I looked closer. I was like, man, this is a really nice car. It is a super nice yeah. car. Really, really is. They've had a lot of detail to... Uh, attention to the detail and everything on it, inside and out. It's it's really a well-built car. and got a crazy motor in it. Yeah, well, they sent us a note. So... Steve's known for interiors, not for reading, right. but he's going to give us just a few facts on this, uh, what, we, what we're dealing with here. Okay, it looks like the drivetrain is a LSX 427 crate engine with the 4L80E transmission, and it's, uh, it says it's sporting a Frankenstein Freak Show bill intake, custom-built in-house twin turbo set up with a mirror image Garrett g35 turbos wow so yeah. whatever that means right. it's cool well the custom <laughs> intake i i frankenstein i never necessarily heard of that mm -hmm. but when i looked at it i was like yeah no that's a custom intake and that is really cool so props on that yeah all the all the exhaust was uh it's built in-house stainless three inch uh with magnaflow mufflers electric exhaust cutout so you hit a button and you know <laughs> sounded crazy You're right but yeah it's a, it's it's, and it's crazy wheels. It's got 24 inch uh, by 10 gold Dayton's on it. I think that's real gold too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, don't think it's, I don't think it's that spray can stuff. No, 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 yeah. it's gold plated. Yeah, yeah they're 24. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's definitely yeah, gold plated. Right. Yeah. So it, if you notice, there's a lot of little chrome and gold emblems all over it. So it's, it, you know, blends in the chrome and the gold. It looks really good. It does. No, it, you know, it's not our thing. We don't, we don't uh, necessarily follow these cars really close, but yeah, quality is quality and cool is cool. And this thing is right there with the both of those. Well, you know, I mean, to have a, you know, like you said, you have the coolest cars on the web. Right. It don't mean they all have to be street rides. That's I mean, right. that's a cool car. Yeah, that's exactly right. You know, and you know, for, for what it is, I mean, it, it, everybody here likes it. Right on. So, you know, I mean, you know, it's good built, good quality, it, you know. What do you say? It's a cool car. And at the end of the day, that's a big thing with Scotty DTV is, is the quality there. Mm -hmm. and, and the styling and all that. And yeah, sure enough, that thing's going to draw attention. And yeah, no, I think it's cool too. Tell me what y'all did to the interior. Well, actually all we did was we just put everything together and we made a trunk mat for the uh, trunk. No LEDs or nothing? No, no, it don't, it don't have the LEDs. Or, I mean, we didn't build the interior. Right, no, you know, all you. we're doing is, you know, put I it know. all together for them. And stuff. still... So. Yeah, it does have LED lights underneath the dash. Okay. So uh, amber LED lights. So it shows up pretty good. In the trunk. Um, trunk is just all spray painted, cleared, and we've made a, a carpet mat for it. So if they want to put anything in there, you know, don't scratch up the floor. But they can lift up the carpet, and you can show how the floor is all uh, painted and buffed and yeah. looking really good. It's got twin batteries in it. Yeah, very clean. <clears throat> the battery install, and like yeah. you said, it's, it's as cut and buffed as the rest of the car. Yeah. And then you didn't put a top on it. No, we didn't put the top on it. <clears throat> it was already on there when we when we got the car here. We put the door panel seats, uh, front and rear seats, uh, carpet in it. And then um, 
there's a fuel injection computer thing underneath the dash. We built a little box to go around it and uh, covered it in black just so it sort of just disappear. You know, Somebody, but, whoever whoever did these seat covers or, or covered these seats did a really nice job. It is leather. They did. It's all yeah. leather interior. Yeah. yeah. Somebody did a really good job uh, creating all of it. Yeah. And uh, made our work easy. We just had to put everything together and make sure everything fit and finally, you know, right. all the final fit and finish was right on it. Yeah. So. Man, well. Hopefully one day somebody will bring you one back that we can do a whole custom interior. Right? Well, actually, we got one. The same company builds uh, or, or working on the same company brought us up as a 57 Chevrolet convertible. But uh, it don't have the wheels on it yet. It's got okay. driver wheels on it. So okay. we may not be able to see the wheels. But, yeah, I'm sure we'll be doing some doing some work with them on that. Awesome, so. man. No, again, you and the boys rocked it. All right. Appreciate it, Scotty. Thank you. So there you go from Steve Holcomb Pro Auto Custom Interiors, a 1971 Chevrolet Impala convertible. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya! y'all make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos i have posted either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video